Hey guys, what's up? So, quick question for you. Have you guys ever risked your life for some sweet views and uh, risked it for humanity? Well, um, I kind of may have done that by accident, sort of. Uh, so, I'm kind of provoked an SCP. Uh, so yeah, as we dive into this in the horror world of games, I definitely did or didn't push me over the head. Um, I, uh, yeah, you just, the game's not for the faintest of heart, so, uh, just buckle up and be ready to watch me suffer. <laughs> These two great indie horror games, SCP-001 Daybreak and Stay Alive, as they offer a very good, unique perspective compared to the mainstream titles. And be sure to stick around till the end to look at the three takeaways and tell me what you guys think. All right, let's get into it. So, need to interact. Ooh, looks like I have viewers. The door. Can I just fix it? Are you sure you can afford to leave? Yes. Oh, your requirements, failure means death. What? <laughs> so, uh, I guess if uh, I don't have enough viewers, I, I guess I got it. Die, guys. Oh, come on, let, let's. Let's get that viewer count up. <sighs> okay, here we go again. The viewer is still zero. Better be watching all this. Okay. <clears throat> I need money tonight. If I want to keep it living. It sounds dumb, but my only chance is my old streaming channel. And now I'm in an abandoned library where some people are supposed to gone missing. If I can get a view or something interesting up close, maybe I can get what I need. Uh, so that's a bloody book. That's a book on the ground. I, whoa, 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 wait, why? Hit the gritty. I don't want to hit the gritty. All right, lag, lag, wow, stream, funny, help, cap, shush. Nobody cares about you guys. I do. Oh, on. Uh, I'm sorry, but why is there a fit? Hello? Anybody there? Look at that fisher. Oh look. Uh, uh don't talk to me. I don't really care about you. Okay. Oh, oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. What is that thing? Don't see me. I rolled up the staircase. You can't do nothing about it. Go on this side. <laughs> Somebody there? Uh, hello? Hey, look, it's another little bookly. Uh, 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 no, oh, 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 no, oh, 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 <laughs> Stay over there, you ugly walking monster. That's supposed to be the elevator? Oh look, it's another cross. Keep your eyes to yourself. Hmm. Hello? Anybody in this library? Ooh, I hear somebody. Ooh, he's coming upstairs! Oh, hush! I'm not acting. I'm <laughs> terrified. <laughs> Is that gone? Stay away from me. Nobody likes you. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Why do you have to block my only way out? You're gonna be right here, right? Hey, I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh, come on, you squid monster, go away. Let me out. Oh, my word. Good. I'm good. Let me out of this place. No. What up? What up? What up? What up? Ow, what was that? Don't eat me. I won't eat you. The thing is, that thing is what's gonna eat me. There's so many crosses, you know, you just be like, 
I'm gonna crucify. Oh. <laughs> Don't see me. I guess the elevator doesn't do anything. Watching from my couch, keep up a great work. Oh, I am. Can't I leave yet? I have half of the quota. Isn't that good enough? So, how's it going over there, Mr. Squid? How you doing today? Come on now. I know you don't want to twitch, but it, it's fine. You'll be just fine. You won't have to worry about anything. Stop twitching. You'll be just fine, okay? Look, your wife will come back. Your wife will help you. Stop the twitching. Because you're going to make me... Dude, what you made me do? Now you made me twitch. Come on. Help us get our viewer account up. And I'll even be in... I'll even bring your... Call your wife back in so she can come in. You know, you, you go have fun with her, right? You hush, this is not scripted. <sighs> Ow! What the heck? Do you stop at me! Stop throwing stuff at me! Oh! <laughs> I need to keep that thing out. I need to lock the door. Um, what was that thing? I need a barricade. I need a hammer for this. Uh, it's locked. I need a key. Hammer. Anything around? Nice guitar. This is not a test to an unknown event. Every and all exposure to the sun will result in death. Supplies for the mood. The evacuation plans are come. In the meantime, stay inside dark areas. To avoid casualties, do the follow. Stay inside barricade all door. Cover the windows with a thick layer so the sun rays won't be able to enter. Do not listen one who tells you to go outside. Wait for the authority issue. Another state message will be with five minutes. God help us all. And step in the line. Well, close the windows first. I'm sorry. God can't save you. Well, yeah, God can't save us. Why? Why is there a padlock key there? Like, of all places, why is there a padlock key in a freaking church Bible? So, I found the padlock key earlier. And the padlock key is right here. Barricade all doors. Cover the windows with a thick layer so the sun... All right, let's get the padlock open. Do not listen to anyone who tells you to go outside. Wait for the authorities to issue another state. This message will be repeated. Oh, that's messed up. What the heck happened in here? Mm -hmm. All right, so that window is open. Now I have to close it and I can't step in. It's done or I'll die. Yep, we learned that from earlier. Step in it. I'm burned alive, I think. Uh, yep, we learned that from earlier. We drape it over. Anything over here? 35 millimeters? Huh. Why is there... We'll be caught not alive at least. So, what are the three takeaways for this video? Honestly, they're not too bad on the game, but definitely some improvements itself. So, let me know what you guys think, and if you guys have any other opinions, and you guys try it out for yourself. Mechanics, <sighs> Daybreak, uh, the speaking and directive was better than Stay Alive, where in Stay Alive, you kind of guessed what you had to do, but not really. Daybreak, you kind of had a guess. 
and kind of try to find different things, different ways to get in. Um, I feel like if anything, to build the intensity and build the environment for Stay Alive, it could have done like dialogue, like simply a speech to text of somebody sending a message, somebody sending a donation, helping build a relaxed environment that's supposed to be intense, <laughs> and then getting them jumps. That way it helps ramp up the intensity and help make the game into something a little bit more intense. Other than that, both games had great moments um, and had me crawling all over the floor and uh, yeah, just crawling on the floor face in pain, nonstop. <laughs> uh, dynamics? Well, the simple pixie dust um, that were in Stay Alive were really great. I think, honestly, they were great touch to the environment, great touch to the player's interaction to the environment. However, for Daybreak, it made it hard to know what your objectives were. Yes, you had dialogue there for a certain parts, but you really didn't know what to interact with, what not to interact with, until you got right up to it or was standing right in front of you. I think there needs to be more steps to build the player into the intense environment for Daybreak. And let me know what you guys think about that. Um, so yeah. Aesthetics, the way it feels to player. Hands down, the audio of SCP and the creatures of both games felt really great. The only thing I think I would work on for both games are the steps. When the player is walking, I think it should be no more noticeable it wasn't as it wasn't there as much that it made you feel like you were stepped it made it feel like you were just pushing the audio of your keyboard and stuff like that i feel like it needed to be more in depth um so that it helps with the environment but before we wrap it up don't forget to like this video subscribe for more content on indie horror games and much more. I do plan on releasing a couple Pokemon games, Pokemon things. So be on the lookout for that. And share your favorite recommendations in the below of suggestions, what angle you'd like me to talk about on these takeaways, or the type of games you'd like me to play so that I can take takeaways and kind of give input to the devs and let my opinion be known about it. What could help the game become popular? Your support, as always, does mean the world and I really do appreciate it guys so please 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 keep giving me love and I can't wait to explore more indie horror games like this together with you guys and as always thank you for watching till next time this has been Six Link signing out